Good evening. So if I look very tired, it's because I've been at it for quite a lot of time. I made this. This is a GoPro 9 fully functioning at 21.58 grams. So instead of showing you the whole video, I'm going to edit in the video so you can see the whole thing. Um, but I want to go through how I actually did it uh, because it wasn't that hard. So here we have the GoPro 9. Uh, and this is the metal casing around the GoPro 9. The tricky bit with the GoPro 9 is that once you have it all gathered up, once you have the whole casing around it, let's... I, so the GoPro 9 is encased in this big box, this beautiful big box. Now, um, it's very simple how it's made. So you have the front of the camera, which is this. You have a layer on top here. Then you have a layer going all the way around. So you have two parts right now. So you have first part, the second part goes all the way around. And then on the back, you have the last part. The last part is, of course, the screen. So as you can see, this is the screen. You cannot remove anything and hope to see screws in this build because the screws are only accessible from the back. So a natural way of beginning this whole thing might be going in from the back, but you cannot go in from the back seeing as there is no screws and you will break the screen. So my recommendation on how to do this, um, if I were to do it again, it would simply be having the GoPro um, in front like this and then using a jacket knife like this in order to get a separation between the front layer and this band going all around. So when you look at the actual GoPro um, in real life, and you will see this in the video, there's kind of a, a nail's depth all the way around it. I would put the knife in there and I would actually just cut until I hit something. Because as you can see, you're hitting metal. The only tricky part is down here. Here you have a, a ribbon cable and this ribbon cable is connecting to the front screen. But, but when it's all seated, you cannot see this now, but you can see this later in the video where I showed as well. When it's all seated, if you keep on grinding here, you will actually hit that metal piece there and that metal piece there, and you will not hit the ribbon cable. Now, I take no responsibility, of course, but that's my experience. When you're cutting from the side, you do not hit anything. When you're cutting from the top, you actually do not hit anything and from this side as well. Once you've done that, once you've gotten to the point where you've sawed all the way in, you would think that maybe now you can begin lifting off stuff, but you can't. Everything is glued. So this is where your new friend, Mr. Plier, comes in. It has to be a sharp one like this. And what you will do is basically you will grab onto the hole you've carved with the knife and you'll begin peeling layers off. Be careful when you do this because you don't want to nick this part right here. And you don't want to nick any of the electronic parts. Now you can't see the rest because they are over here, but as you can see, this is the top part right there. You don't want to nick the processor, your GoPro is going to die, and you don't want to nick the USB port and so on. But if you slowly begin peeling away the various layers around here, um, then you will reveal what you're seeing right now, except for the fact you're going to have the camera sticking out. And the camera sticking out was actually quite a challenge because on top of the camera, you have this piece. This piece is for securing the lens, and it's sitting on top here. But this piece right here is sitting on the outside and this lens right here is sitting on the inside but they're connected so that means that as it is right now if this was together if i move this piece i could actually move that piece behind so you cannot just twist and turn and you can't put something under and, and kind of break this off that's that's not how you do it the first thing you do is you remove the four screws and then later on when you've peeled enough material off here um, and when you're deep into the build, you can actually lift up right here and then you can snip and kill those. Let me see if I can point to those. You can kill these. These three places are where the screws are. Um, and I don't see a way where you can actually unscrew all of these. You have to kill at least one of them because it's simply not accessible. Um, so I would, I would probably say just kill those. But anyways, once you're getting to the point where you have peeled away the front layers and you have uh, you have this piece on, so everything is looking more or less like this, that's where you have exposed something around this edge in where you can see underneath the layer, the band that goes around the GoPro. And once you have an opening for that band, 
you, and I showed this in the video as well, you take this plier and you grab that opening and you slowly begin peeling away that layer. And once you've peeled away that layer, you should now be able to turn around the camera and with very little effort, remove the back screen. And from there on, it's actually quite simple. There is a number of wires that has to be disconnected and a number of, of um, things like the battery compartment you have to take out. But all of these parts I found much, much, much easier than the GoPro 8. So today I had some chili and when I eat chili, I make bad decisions. This is a new GoPro 9. This is also GoPro 9 filming. And I originally did the whole thing with the unboxing and breaking the strip and everything so you could see what's new, but my LED lights in this room, which is this one here, and that one over there and everything else, um, makes a weird flicker on the GoPro 9, which is quite interesting because the GoPro 9 has a 50 Hertz and a 60 Hertz, hertz option, which makes uh, deflickering possible. So you don't see that flicker on the GoPro 8, on the GoPro 7, on the GoPro 6, this is not an issue. On this GoPro 9, it's a huge issue. The only remedy I could do was I could lock this GoPro's um, shutter speed to 30 and then also fill in 4K 30 and now it sort of works. So, already did the whole real unboxing, but didn't really work out. So here it is, a brand spanking new GoPro 9. On the GoPro 9, you can take off the lens cover like this so you have a removable lens which is very interesting um i'm hoping i can make it naked with this thing on because that makes you able to actually have a lens protector on and you could also get which will probably come aftermarket uh indie filters in this shape but for now let's leave this thing on oh jesus christ <laughs> i haven't even stripped it apart i'm already breaking it let's leave this on so how am I going to break into this one um, and why do I want to do it? Well, the reason why I want to do it um, is basically I want to be able to put it on something like this. This is a Beta 95. This particular quad with um, a naked GoPro on it and battery and everything weighs 210 grams. It really flies well and it's, it's just so nice to fly with. What I normally use is this, which is my, um, my geyser, my Shendron's geyser with a custom no uh, vibration mount I made myself. And normally I have ducts on. I've removed these for uh, a certain task I'm going for right now. But I really am interested in removing some weight because this camera is 160 grams. That is very, very, very heavy. And if I put it on the Beta 95, yeah, I would have a flight time of maybe 37 seconds or something like that. So how do we do this? Um, well, the first things first. We're going to remove the big chunk of battery. This battery alone is 35 grams. So let's remove that. We're going to remove the SD card. Now, I have prepped this model, so I've updated it to the latest version. And I have uh, connected it to my phone, so I know that it's absolutely working. I can reach it uh, through Wi-Fi, uh, which is definitely my recommendation as well. And from here on out, I have no idea. On the old GoPro, you could... You could snap this off. Oh my God. This is gonna be a lot of me saying, oh my God, and stuff like that. So this is really heavy. This is probably, let's, let's see how much weight we removed already before we get started. So just these two things alone, which you can definitely do without, um, is a lot of weight actually. This is almost 13 grams for that one. So let me see, remove that. 13 grams for that one and the battery is, 32 and a half so together we're removing 45 grams of material which leaves the gopro in weighing 113 grams i'm guessing that this lens protector is also quite heavy but well why not let's just measure it ah that's only six grams six grams i would sacrifice in order to keep my lens happy so right now we're done that's it that's the whole view now of course it is. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to take it apart. Now, with the old GoPro, what you did was that you, <clears throat> you have the case here, this is originally the back screen, which is smashed to pieces. Um, so what you did was that you basically pried open around here and then you lifted it up and, and you sort of worked your way through that, there. Um, I have no idea how to do that on this one, but I'm, I'm guessing it's sort of the same tactics that you wanna pry something in here 
you want to kind of loosen it and then you want to break off the shell and underneath here you will then hopefully gain access to some screws which will make you able to open the body much like on the um, GoPro 8 and from there on out uh, you should be able to enter this portion and I'm gonna guess it's a little bit similar worst case scenario I damage a lot of this stuff around here so it looks really really bad and really really scuffed and then I give up um, big deal because I have GoPro insurance on it so I can just use it and when it crashes smashes or whatever um, I can get a new one if we do get past that point it's gonna be a little bit harder because I really don't have any idea how to do this so let's get started okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the folding fingers just like on the gopro 8. we're gonna try a t4 torx instead and then we're gonna hope that this is better yes much better i think let me just verify yeah sometimes when i lift this out of uh, camera it's because i actually have to take my glasses off to see the details on this because i'm nearsighted and as you grow older you need to do that stuff so i'm sorry about that but better safe than sorry so we're taking off the four screws here we go and voila we've removed something like three grams but this looks like a good entry point a good possible entry point so let's let's do it let's see if we can get in there whoa okay so this actually goes straight through. Oh no, I broke it. What am I gonna do? All right, so there is nothing of interest here. Unscrewing this reveals some screws. So I'm thinking I wanna take those out. Um, I don't wanna leave the lens exposed, but I do think that this whole construction helps this stay in place. So this is also a T4 Torx screw. Let's take this out. <clears throat> Dum, boom, boom, boom. and um, if you're thinking to yourself why on earth is he doing that is he made of money no i am absolutely not made of money i'm doing this because um when i originally started out um i went onto a lot of forums and got a lot of help from people and at one point i um, i came across uh, the oscar liang website which helped me out immensely and i came across jonah blazer's document for the naked gopro 8 and then i also came across the naked gopro forum now these guys in there are absolutely fantastic so well worth a visit if you want to go there and you want to try to make something naked camera wise i mean if you want to make something else naked maybe go somewhere else so I want to give something back to the community, which is why I'm breaking this thing apart um, in the hopes that I will be able to make a sort of tutorial for other people. Let's put this on. All right, let's try breaking some of this. Now this, this might actually physically hurt some of you out there that's saving for GoPro 9. Um, I get it, I really do, because it's hurting me as well. It's, this, is, this is not something I take lightly actually. Um, I want to do this, but I don't enjoy doing this. Well, a little bit, you know, I enjoy it a little bit. There's something oddly satisfying about doing this to a brand new camera. There's also something very tragic about it. Let's see, honestly, this with the knife is what has worked best so far, because I'm actually getting in there and it's actually doing, making a different seat. Now we have now we have actually massive lift. Um, yeah, almost cut through. So I think that the general idea is actually just to take a knife like this, cut, 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 cut. And you kind of have to get all the way through because um, now I can move the whole plate. Can you see that? So I should do the same thing here, but right here, I don't know why, but this is much harder. Could be just more material, but let's give it a good whirl. see now we're actually getting into the fortress of solitude yeah i think this is the way forward um when you're doing this yourself if you are doing this yourself i do think that cutting the edges with a, with a knife just like that don't make it a sharp knife make it a edge what do you call it jacket knife 
um, because you're not going to get very, very far with a sharp knife, I think. So that very uh, rah, 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 sound you're hearing, that's definitely when you're you're getting to the core of what's in there. Oh wait, oh wait, I spoke too soon, man. Now stuff is happening. Okay, so this is definitely working. I don't know how far it's gonna get me, but I'm lifting a lot of stuff up here. Yeah, look at that. I have to remove that one again, unfortunately. I just don't wanna, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, now I've separated this. Okay, so, if this works, once I remove it, I think it's a safe bet to say, use a knife, use a knife, use a knife, use a knife, until you simply hear the grinding stuff and you can see metal. Um, Cause I do not think it's gonna matter. I don't think you're gonna break anything doing that. And it's simply not plausible to just finesse your way in. You gotta be brutal. So now let's begin peeling the layers. Yeah, you see that? Here we go. Holy crap, what is that? Why you put so much metal there, GoPro? What is this? Is it safety stuff or is it unnecessary? Is it just weights to annoy us? Okay, now it's, yeah, this is working, okay. Okay, note to self. So you use a knife to get in here. Look at how much space there is. And once you have the knife here, you can actually peel it like I'm doing right now. Does that make sense? I hope it does, because this is absolutely the right way to do this. Point is you can get in there and grab it very slowly. Then you can do this. So yeah, cutting, slicing, and everything. Now, oh, I'm lifting up something here. That's, um, is that the speaker? Yeah, that's the speaker. Uh, it's not the actual speaker, it's like a speaker grill with some protection on it, I think. Okay. Let's get this piece removed. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see what this little thing over here actually was. Okay, so it's a metal barrier of some kind. Wow, this is not how I um, actually imagined it was gonna look underneath. So I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab here, and slowly lift, maybe even break it. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna break some of this because I need to be able to see what's happening when I lift it. Um, as I don't want to. So, look at this. This piece right here is just an insulator for the microphone. So, you know, go away. We don't need you. Well, actually, we might, but now we don't. Get off. You don't live anymore. Go home. I don't love you. Okay, look at this. So, when we lift this up here, yeah, it doesn't appear that there's anything in there um, of importance, but over here, Look at that, that's the ribbon cable connector. Oh my God. So that is the ribbon cable connector for the front screen. So when you're sawing in here, um, you're actually safeguarded by that one up here, meaning that your knife gets to here. But uh, as you can see, there's a small piece right here, which is just plastic for some reason. Had I begun cutting and moving on. I, I cannot actually hit the ribbon cable. I don't know how well this translates. Let's have a good look here. So look at this. 
ribbon cable. Let me see if I can hold this with one hand and show it with the other. Like so. Mm. Ribbon cable that starts right here. Touching ribbon cable. It's like a millimeter behind this. But from what I'm looking at right now, and again, I will take no responsibility for what I'm saying. This is just my observations. It looks like when you're cutting from this angle, you cannot hit the ribbon cable with the knife. So let's do that. I'm not so worried about this piece anymore because it just looks like a reinforcement of the box. Having said that, I do not know. here might die but I don't care and I don't want it. No stinking LED. When I record it just needs to record. Come on. Having said that I really try to not damage the screen because I don't know it would just kind of be more fun. See here we have the LED. Let's unwrap that Slowly grabbing and pulling, not using a ton of force. <gasps> See, this came off, but the LED is still there. Right. So this is a very, very important part. So, so far, using the saw to cut in, more or less, getting everything free and then I am supposing um, next step is to actually damage this whole part here because unlike the GoPro 8 there are no visible screws on the front meaning that you probably have to go in from the back so this has to die I don't want to break it but if you have to break it uh, I'm assuming a good way to go in would be right around here And I think I assumed correctly. Chipping off small pieces, allowing me to see what's underneath. Um, I don't really want to damage the button because I don't know how the button is attached. So, and I don't know what's underneath here. I don't know anything. I feel like I'm part of Game of Thrones. Come on. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. Let's just nip some stuff off. A Dremel might be the right solution for this right now. Um, that's kind of like cheating, you know. We don't want it to be too easy to see. No, this is working. Here we go. Think about how many hours they put into making this so good. And here we are, just chipping away, smashing all their hard work. I'm sorry, GoPro guys. You're fantastic engineers, but you could have provided a back door for the enthusiasts like us. Because this is ridiculous. Okay. Uh, so I guess this is just a matter of going that way. Now, nothing seems to be able to take damage underneath except for that ribbon cable. So I'm trying not to hit it. But I need to get a good grip here. looks like I'm using a lot of force but I'm actually not using that much it's more about leverage 
I just want to make sure that every time I lift, oh, see, there's something stuck here. What is that? I think it's, it's like it's stuck on something. Like if I could hold onto this piece here with something and then pry it at the same time. That's a little bit tough to do when you only got two hands and 15 thumb thumbs. Come on. No, that's stuck. That's definitely stuck. All right, let's cut off shit and see where it leaves us. Ooh. Yeah, don't break it. Don't break it before you break it. That must be the rule. Now, oh, here we go. So there's some kind of glue onto this. Um, so small chunks and bites will will help immensely with breaking this up. Right now I'm just cutting along the edge because I don't think that there's anything over here that's connecting to um, something vital. Could be wrong. Could also be 100% right. I don't know. Let's bite this one. place for a speaker to live or whatever you are I wonder if this is part of the bubbly speaker the one that allows you to hear while you're going underwater um, because it doesn't look like a big big office why that one hit me straight in the face and actually be careful I mean I, I've taken off my glasses now while I'm doing this but um, I only do that because I really have to do it in order to see stuff this close but be careful because these are very hard plastic chunks and they could go straight into your eye he said and continued okay mm. I'm chop this off i'm gonna chop this off right here this really is a chopping game i mean holy crap so this last part, um, now we've actually broken into the shell. The reason that the video is, is kind of changing right now is because um, my GoPro 9, for some reason, didn't record the last part. So now I've actually put the whole thing together again and we're going to take it from here. I think that's a good thing because I get to show this in um, a little bit more of a concise way. So as you saw before, you cut the whole edge uh, away. Now, cutting the edge away just requires you to take small steps and look underneath. There's nothing you can damage except for this part here, which is the um, on-off button, and all of this part up here. So all of this part up here, you don't want to nick. So when you get to the top of the camera, it's about cutting in and just slowly lifting. But once you get in there, you can lift and you can actually see that you don't damage these, thing, these things. The two things to note is at the bottom, you have the speaker. So you don't need the speaker, but you can click it off through a cable. So if you can, cut around it and get in there. Um, the other thing that was kind of scary was this piece here. So this piece right here has a golden colored thingy. And if we look where it was sitting, it was sitting right here. So there's a small, small, small nick here. I'm touching it now. And I don't know why, but that's touching this piece here. I've tried to figure out what, what this is for, but I actually don't know. Um, but it seems like this golden piece is touching that and touching down here for the camera. No clue why. It doesn't, um, apparently it's not needed because it's working fine without it. So now we're pretending that you've basically removed everything from the front and you've removed everything around here as in the video. The next step you want to do is you want to lift up the screen and you can actually just lift it. So once you've cut everything around, you just apply some force and it will let go. Then what you do is you immediately disconnect it from these cables here on top of the battery lids. So let's do that right now. Use a spudger. Just go like that. Go like that. And this is loose. There is another cable 
which you don't get to see me remove this one which is this one this just stays on there so you just slowly pull and lifts off and lifts off at the other end as well so that's not a big thing so that's the whole screen remove the next part and i apologize in advance if i'm missing something but i actually don't think it's uh it's going to be bad so the next thing is you have a screw down here in this hole and you have a screw um, down here in this hole what you want to do is you want to remove those two screws and once you do that you also remove this one here so that's three in total you do need a screwdriver that can get in there so you need something long like this because you have to go all the way through once you've done this you can lift this up and you can lift it up this way and sort of get it out and once you get it out you will be able to look underneath and as you can see i didn't attach this cable because it's actually quite hard to reattach in this configuration but once you lift up this cable right here is separated from its point a little bit closer from this down here that so you just put a spot in click and then you have it like i have it right now next step is to lift this one up um, and this one you go from the outside and you just do that and now you have this piece off um, so that's pretty simple next step let's see if i can remember yeah so the next step is you have um these things up here these metal brackets there's a screw there 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 let's point again there there and there down here you remove those and once you remove those this becomes loose so before removing that you take a spudger and you do this let's see if i can do it so now you're able to pull apart this piece after that you still have the issue of the lens thing so let me illustrate how this worked so you have this thing here sitting on top what you want to do is you want to cut all the plastic away around it and once you get to this part where we are right now where we actually have access to the back of it you can move it like this as you can see so you can move the whole thing back and forth. So you push out and then what you want to do is you want to nick this and this and this because looking from the back, you can only access one. Let's see if we can point a little bit better here. You can only access a screw down here and a screw down here. But for some reason, um, and I, I actually don't know what the purpose is of this, for some reason, the screw over here is metal you can unscrew that this one over here is black and it doesn't have a screw thread i don't know why this one down here below is actually not visible in any way uh, that's that one so i would lift the whole thing like this and then i would take my fire here and i would actually go in from the side and nick it and just make sure you cut out so that the screws actually don't retain it once you do that you can remove this piece and then you're left with what we have right here. Now, in order to disconnect further from this, um, this cable here, as you can see, this is the front screen's cable. This is actually going up underneath the USB port. So it's actually sitting in this spot right here. Now, I don't want to bother putting it back in because I don't want to damage it, but it was sitting in there and you can just use a spudger and like that, and then lift this up slightly and bring it out. And now the front screen is actually attached to the main plate next step is over here you have this piece here that is normally sitting up here so this is sitting there you lift that off then you take your screwdriver and let's see here and you unscrew two screws here one here and the other one i already did remove just get rid of this so removing that one there and that one there and after you do this you can remove this and you can remove this piece once you're at this point it is spot your time again you go over here and you remove that piece so you move this little connector from that piece right there the next part you want to do is you want to remove this one here let's see like that by removing that you are also separating the electronics board 
Then we will remove this piece here. Again, you go in from this side, I think, if I remember correctly. I probably don't. Let's see. No, 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 sir. Uh, I hate, oh, everything's loose now. I don't like these plugs like that. That's the speaker. Once you've done this, um, there is, let's see. I think there's one more screw around here somewhere that, that makes this board um, stay on. But the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this goes out like so. So, and I, I'm sorry for showing it this way, but I do think that this is easier than my original video of making it. So once you've done all of this, you have now separated it. And once you attach this piece back on, so that's up here, let's see, like so, everything is fully working. Let's get back to the original video. Let's do it this way. It's lighting up, that's a good sign. We're gonna do this, see if we can connect. Here and I naked, connect please. Come on, baby, be alive. I don't see any. Th oh, wait, there's some blinks there. Enable preview, connecting. Ask me if I want to connect. Come on, ask me. Ask me. Yes. There we have it. A GoPro 9 that weighed, I actually don't remember how much it weighed, but it is working. And the flickering you see is due to my LED lights. Holy crap, Batman. So that was actually not as hard as I thought. Um, I'm gonna do a, a quick recap that's gonna be in the beginning of the film in a second. Um, but I just wanna do this. 21.55 grams. Jesus Christ, Batman. That is good stuff. So I want to say thank you for watching if you watched all of this so far. Now, um, this was a great success. I cannot wait to put it on the Beta 95. I just need to find out some uh, some kind of way to, to make a stable mount for it. But I'll get back with that later. Right now, I'm pretty damn tired. So thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.